I'm going to read Wombat Goes Walkabout by Michael Morpugo. One day, Wombat woke up and thought, I think I'll dig a hole today. Wombat loved digging holes, so off he went and dug a deep, deep hole. He crawled inside and sat there in the cool and the dark and began to think, because Wombat loved thinking. He thought to himself, why is the sky blue? Why am I a wombat and not a kangaroo? There's the hole. Sometime later, Wombat climbed out of his hole. He looked around for his mother, but she wasn't there. He was all alone. There he is. Wombat lives in Australia. Who are you? cried Kookaburra from high up in the sky. I'm Wombat, said Wombat. Oh, what can you do? Not much. I dig a lot and I think a lot. That's nothing, said Kookaburra. Watch me, I can fly! Woohoo! And he looped and looped and flew away. Wombat went down to the creek to look for his mother, but she wasn't there either. Just then, Wallaby wa came hopping by. Who are you? said Wallaby. I'm Wombat. But what do you do? Not much. I dig a lot and I think a lot. Oh, well, that's nothing. Watch me. I can hop and skip and jump. Look at me. And he hopped and skipped and jumped away. I think he looks like a kangaroo. Ooh, what's this hanging upside down? Wombat walked and walked, and everywhere he walked, he looked for his mother, but he couldn't see her anywhere. He sat down under a stringy bark gum tree to catch his breath, and just then, Possum popped up beside him. Who are you? He said, said the Possum, his eyes darting this way and that. I'm Wombat. What can you do? Not much. I dig a lot and I think a lot. Oh, that's nothing. I can hang upside down. I can swing by my tail. Look at me. And she swung away up the stringy bark gum tree. Wombat wandered sadly through the bush, still looking for his mother. And just then Emu came scampering by. Who are you? I'm Wombat. What do you do? Not much. I dig a lot and I think a lot. Hmm? Well, that's not much. You see, I scamper. I scoot and, and I go around in crazy circles. Well, look at me. And away he scampered, scooting around in crazy circles. Just then a boy came by, hunting for Emu. Who are you? said the boy. I'm Wombat. What do you do? Not much. I dig a lot, and I think a lot. Oh, do you know what I can do? I can do just about everything. I can jump and run and swing. I can even hunt. Look at me. And off he went, hunting with a stick for Emu. It was baking hot now, and Wombat shuffled into the shade of a great eucalyptus tree. He hoped his mother might be there, but she wasn't. Who are you? said Koala Bear from high up in the tree. I'm Wombat. What do you do? Not much. I dig a lot, and I think a lot. Oh, that's nothing, said Koala. I doze and I snooze and I snore. <sighs> Look at me. And very soon, she was dozing and sleeping and snoozing and snoring away, high up in her eucalyptus tree. By now, Wombat was very, very tired. So he lay down in the shade and sang himself to sleep. When Wombat woke up, he looked around for his mother. 
but she still wasn't there. I know, he thought. I'll climb the highest hill until I find her. Surely I'll be able to see her then. So that's just what he did. He climbed and he climbed and he climbed way up high. There he is. And when he reached the top, he looked about him. Everywhere he looked, there were lots of cackling kookleberry, kookleberries and hopping wallabies, swinging possums, hunting boys, scampering emus, and dozing koalas. But no matter how hard he looked, he just couldn't see his mother anywhere. <gasps> Look at him. But he did see something. He saw smoke. He saw fire. It was leaping from tree to tree. It was coming straight toward him. Wombat thought hard, very hard. And then suddenly he knew just what to do. He ran down the hill as fast as he could and he began to dig. He dug and he dug and he dug and he dug. Then Kookaburro came by and Wallaby and Possum and Emu and the boy and Koala Bear. Fire, they cried. Everybody run, run Wombat, fire. But Wombat just went right on digging. There he is digging. What are you doing? They asked. I'm digging. And I'm thinking too. Well, what are you thinking? They cried. I'm thinking that fire burns faster than you can fly or run or hop or swing. And I'm thinking that there's plenty of room down here in my hole. If you want to join me, we'll be safe. They took just one look at that crackling fire and the billowing smoke. One look was all they needed. Down into Wombat's hole they jumped until they were all sitting there safe and snug. And to keep them all happy, Wombat sang them his digging song. His mother had taught it to him. Dig and dig, dig and dig. All day long I dig and dig. I can dig deep and I can dip, dig a hole. Every single day I dig my hole. When at last it was all over and the fire and the song had ended, they climbed out into the evening air. I wish, sighed Com Wombat, looking around him sadly. I wish I could find my mother. I lost her and she's lost me. But well, why didn't you ask? They all said, we'll find her for you. And away they went flying and swinging and hopping and scampering, running around in all directions. With so many of them looking, it wasn't long before they found Wombat's mother and they brought her back to him. Wombat and his mother hugged and hugged and hugged. Let's see, can we see a picture of them hugging? I've been looking everywhere for you, she cried. Where were you? I've been worried sick. Where have you been? Where have I been? I could not find you, mother. There he is with his mother. What have you been doing, my little boy? Not much, Mom. Just been thinking and digging a lot. That's all. The end.